Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab. I hope you're all doing okay out there right now. And today I am looking at a graphics card. But before you say it, I know graphics cards, you either can't buy them or they're hideously expensive right now because of all the scalping and cryptocurrency mining and all that kind of stuff going on. Um, but us journalists have got to review something, right? So Zotac has been kind enough to send me its RTX 3070, specifically the RTX 30, uh, 3070 amp Hollow black. So as you can see, this card is fitted with an absolutely gorgeous shroud. Uh, it's kitted out with RG, RGB lighting as well. So what we'll be looking at today is just what this card is all about, uh, what the cooling's like, what the thermals are like, and if there's an overclock involved as well, uh, out of the box of course, and uh, what we can ascertain as to whether or not you should buy one when you can actually buy one for a reasonable amount of money. So comparing it, of course, to the RTX 3070 Founders Edition, which is maybe a little bit cheaper when you can actually buy things. So obviously the 3070 uh, Founders comes with a much smaller cooler that also has the problem of the flow-through fan, whereas the uh, the uh, Hollow Black that we've got here has two really, really big fans, but they don't rely that much on the flow-through design. So as you can see, the heatsink here uh, kind of flowing through and sp spraying the air out uh, out of the sides rather than the rear. There, it is vented at the rear, as you can see there, but the um, there's no real benefit to that because the, the actual heat sinks are sort of flowing across laterally. So we'll be checking out the thermals and uh, just comparing it again to the RTX 3070 Founders Edition to just work out why you might actually want to buy this card over the Founders or perhaps this one over other ones. Um, as I mentioned, thermal and noise testing there as well. And uh, as you can see, uh, just two 8-pin connectors on the, uh, on the graphics card, and that's pretty much it. It's fairly compact. We've seen in previous videos where I featured this graphics card that it does fit into some fairly small cases, despite the fact that it's two and a half slot and a pretty wide card. I mean, you can see there just how, how much deeper it is than the actual PCI Express slot. So, or PCI slot, should I say, not PCI Express slot. So. Yeah, a few things to consider when buying this card, but it, as I mentioned, it does fit into some pretty small cases. NZXT H1, reasonably compact mini RTX case, actually fits in there. Pretty much the biggest card that you'll fit in there length and width ways, but it's kind of cool to know that you can actually fit it in some of the smaller, some of the smaller cases. And um, yeah, so we will be looking at that and uh, a whole bunch of other things in today's video. So stick around and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you've liked it and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're notified when I upload new videos as well. And uh, yeah, let's crack on and take a look. So the first thing I will say is the shroud. Uh, it is super, super gorgeous and looks fantastic when it's all illumin illuminated with the RGB lighting. But there is a real problem with it, and that is that it is super, super prone to scratching. And when I mean scratching, it's it's like literally taking the top layer of this coating off. Um, I think Zotac could really have done with a bit of extra pr uh, protection here because you know, the slightest slip in your case or just, you know, banging it or something like that. And it just, it just comes off. And that really, really put a dampener on it for me because I was trying to fit it into lots of, uh, lots of different cases and that kind of thing and ended up putting it um, in some of the smaller ones and it only needs the slightest knock for it to nick that top coating. And as you can see here, it's already happened um, at a couple of bits on this, uh, on this shroud. And I've been uh, keeping in touch with a few people 
on uh, on Reddit as well, following my review of this card in the NZXT H1. And a few people have said on there that um, they followed my guide on there and they didn't think it was gonna, they thought the card was gonna fit fine in the case, but they didn't pay careful, careful enough attention to uh, just how delicate this shroud is. And they ended up scratching it, trying to get it into some of these smaller cases. So. You do need to be really, really careful with the shroud on this graphics card and don't get anything, anything anywhere near it. Um, in fact, I'd even go as far as saying just put some like sellotape, sticky tape on it um, just to protect it while you're putting it in your case and then just kind of taking it off and wiping off any, any residue just to make sure you don't scratch it. Um, so yeah, I've, I've kind of come out mostly unscathed, but there are a couple of scratches as, as you can see in some of the videos. So I apologize. To, uh, to you guys for that, I apologise to Zotac for, for damaging their card, but it is super, super prone to scratching, so just be aware of that. One of the main features of the Hollow Black is its RGB lighting, and as you can see here, it looks absolutely fantastic with lighting down the side and on the rear of the card. So controlling the software is done through Zotax and software, which did actually work reasonably well if it's a little clunky, but you are able to customize the colors and pick from a range of lighting effects, such as the rainbow effect here, which cycles through various colors, down the side of the graphics card using multiple RGB LEDs. Taking a look at some test data now then, and the peak boost frequency of 1935 MHz was 60 megahertz lower than the 1995 megahertz achieved by the Founders Edition card. The peak GPU temperature was also slightly higher on the Zotac card, which is surprising given its larger cooler and bigger fans, at 79 degrees C versus 73 degrees Celsius in a constant 23 degree environment. However, the Zotac card seemed to have a slightly less aggressive fan profiling with the peak noise at 48.4 decibels compared to 51 decibels for the Founders Edition card, which was noticeably noisier under load. Okay, so what do we make of the Zotac RTX 3070 amp Holoblack then? Well, I have to say I absolutely love the look of this card. Um, it, the shroud looks gorgeous in the even just in the flesh, but with the RGB lighting going on, it's very kind of cyberpunk-esque. Um, I'd absolutely love it. And I love the dual fan design as well. I think that works well with a lot of cases out there, and it means that the card isn't quite as long as some of as some others. The downside though is that it is pretty wide. Uh, you're also dealing with a two and a half slot deep card, but as you've seen in my other videos, you can quite easily fit it into some pretty small cases such as the NZXT H1. Now, squeezing it into some small spaces is where this card can become a real issue because that shroud, as nice as it looks, is super, super delicate. So you don't wanna get this anywhere where you might scratch it. In fact, I'd even go as far as saying if you're gonna try and squeeze it into small spaces or have panels kind of running past it, I would coat it in sellotape or um, what did you call it, like uh, clear tape or something like that. Something that just kind of sits on there and protects that shroud from those scratches because I've already got some dings in there which I'm really annoyed about. Um, but you just need to just take steps to avoid that. You know, <laughs> you know from watching this video that it is an issue. So as long as you're okay with that and you're aware of it, I don't think there are too many, uh, too many other issues with this card apart from its size. You just need to make sure that your case can handle the width and the depth being a two and a half slot card as well. So the other issues are that you've got the pricing to deal with as well. So it's all over the place at the moment. I just had a look at amazon.com and there's like the price is well over a thousand dollars, which is just absolutely ridiculous at the moment. So and the card's pretty much not available over here at all in UK either. So the problem is we've got like a double-edged sword going on against us, which is cryptocurrency mining. And literally this morning, Elon Musk plowed $1.5 billion into Bitcoin and the price went up even further, which means that it's even more profitable to be mining at the moment. But from a gaming point of view and a journalistic point of view, that's, that's really crap news because it just means that this you know, massive shortage of cards is just gonna go on longer and longer. And it, it's such a shame because these cards are great. You know, examples like this one here, 
the RTX 3000 series in general and AMD's cards as well, the RX uh, 6000 series. They're great cards and they were meant to be pretty affordable, <laughs> you know, certainly in as much as the RX 6800 and the 3060 uh, Ti goes and we were looking forward to some more affordable cards. But as long as this cryptocurrency mining thing goes on, it's going to be a real struggle just like it was a couple of years ago. And I, and I hate that. I really, really do. So super frustrating from a gaming point of view that you can't get these cards at the moment. But as far as the uh, Zotac Hollow Black that we've got here, the RTX 3070 model goes, I absolutely love it. As I mentioned, I love the look of the card. Uh, the cooling's great. Uh, you've got the back shroud here that's doing a good job of cooling and the two fans as well. And it's very, very quiet as well. So as far as actually considering buying it goes, it would be way up in probably my top five, uh, if not top three, 3070s that I, would, uh, that I would consider buying just on the looks alone, but the cooling and everything else are great as well. So great job, Zotac, and uh, just hang in there. Uh, if you're waiting for stock to come, I would definitely consider this card probably over and above the RTX 3070 Founders Edition, just because I know that that card has um, some pretty big issues with that flow-through fan, uh, flow fan in certain cases. It's still pretty quiet, but the Zotac card is that much quieter, and um, I would just, I just kind of look like the look of this card uh, is really, really funky and, um, I just think Zotac's done a pretty good job with it. So I'd like to thank Zotac for sending over the uh, sample that we've got here. And um, very disappointingly, they're, uh, they're collecting it tomorrow. So I'm uh, looking forward to uh, looking at some other models to see what else we can, uh, we can see in terms of what RTX 3070 you should be going for. And uh, that's pretty much it. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will catch you soon.